Hello, I wanted to do a little case study for you because I'm trying to, to see how I can increase my revenue on certain products. This all started when I was looking at my conversion rates, which you can find under your menu, under cell, product statistics. And I'm gonna just show you a screenshot. This is the product in my little case study. Nice hands, not nice hands. The conversion rate is out of all the people that look at this product, what percentage actually end up buying it? So my average right now is 18.45% of people that look at this particular item end up buying it. And from my research on the internet, that's actually a pretty high conversion rate. Anywhere from 3% to 11% is normal. I thought I'll try increasing the price of it and see what happens because it's always better to sell. If I'm going to sell 100 items for $1 each, then that's great. That's $100. If I sell 90 items for $1.50, I cannot do that math, but my calculator tells me that that would earn me $135. So I'm selling less items, but making more money. So I'm playing around with the, with the price of this. So I changed the price in September of 2020 from 95 cents to $1.95. And then I uh, was looking at my numbers and I realized the number of items sold didn't increase that much since September. So I dug a little deeper and I figured out that I can see, okay, I'm already looking at it here. In my dashboard, I, um, I deselected everything because that's the default. And then I selected just a nice hands product. And then I, the default is also earnings. And then I also put in some custom dates, custom range. And then I wanted to see from January of 2019 until today, uh, how much have I earned on this product? And then as I hover over this graph, it tells me how much I earned each month from this one product. So you can see if this is when I change the price of it, I'm still making money off of it, but I have one, two, three, four months when I didn't make any money off of it. So then I thought, well, this is showing my, me my earnings. Let me look at how many units I've sold. And then it becomes even more clear that I was selling more units with the lower price. And here's where I changed the price and increased it. And now I'm selling less units. And then I also looked at my conversion rates and each month it'll tell me what that is. So look, 100% dang, and then we drop down to 0%. So there you go, evens everything out. So I was up to 46%, 50% some months. And now here's where I changed the price. The highest I've got is 17%, 21%. So that's why my average is still 18 because I still got these high conversion rates in 2019 and 20. Um, so after looking at all of this data, I think I'm going to go back down a bit so my first price was 95 cents the second price was a dollar 95 now i'm going to put it down to a dollar 50 and see how that goes and i will report back to you all in a few months